Walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Joe Frazier. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own a left-hand sword. It's all right, it's all right. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Joe Frazier. And now he's targeting upstairs. Frazier's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Nice strike after catching one by Joe Frazier. Running. You running. I can tell. Running. Nice work. Nice work. No matter you sweet, you still be running. Comes right back at him with a left hand. It's gonna get beat down. Joe Frazier's able to avoid that punch. Still running. Sending out the power shot, it was a straight left hand. You see it breaking down. Yep. Zoning in on that gut he's combination he's punch downstairs. Joe Frazier on. utilizing the jab now. Oh, there you go. I'm coming in there. And that's the end right of round five. He's winning the fight. I mean, don't, don't tell me anything different than he's winning the fight. Yeah, except at the end of the fight, sometimes these judges, they do tell you things differently. Right. Hopefully that's not the case. Well, he's, he's up way on the punch stats. I know he's ahead on your scorecard, and you can just tell everything that's happening in the ring. He's in control. Box that belt line well. Well, he's got the attitude. Something's got to stick. He fires off the combination, and they nope. both do. Nope. He gives and did you see that? He is not getting for life on the outside there, and he just paid the price. He goes down. Because he didn't make his mind up. If you're not gonna work out in front, get to a distance where you're safe. He stood there at a bad distance. No man's land. I have to chase you. Joe Frazier's rising back up. That takes some guts. Huge left hand from Smoking Joe. You go running again. Look, look. <laughs> Not much running. action as he just ties up. He's committed to that left hand and it's working out. Clean shot with the right. Frazier's gone into a defensive shell, but that shell has cracked. Yeah, it does anyway. The reason why it's getting cracked is because his opponent is confident that with those earmuffs on, you know, going into that peek a defense that he has, he knows he's handcuffed, so he's putting together three, four, five punches where normally he would only throw one or two, worried something's going to come back. Very precise double jab by Joe Frazier. Can you believe that? What a change in momentum. He just got rocked moments ago. He was the one hurting his opponent. Reminds you of the song, I can do anything you can do, only better. Good, strong combo. Lift the body, baby, body blow. That's it, that's it. Accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. <laughs> Frazier so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Now these two corners have to do their job after both men went out and gave everything they had. Both fighters getting tagged and hurt by the other. Yeah, well, what you have to do now in the corner, Joe, what you're alluding to is you have to revitalize the fighter. Put some cold water on his head, on his neck, you know, get him ready for the next round and give him some good advice. Tell him how to wait, get away from some of those shots. Come on, kid. Off the target by Joe Frazier. Yeah, you don't look him again. Oh, that's stupid. That's the way. Still hits you. <laughs> He's stupid. He's stupid. Joe Frazier's going out there after just being knocked down in the last round. If you're standing opposite him, what's the mentality? What's the strategy here? Well, you want to go after him, but you don't want to walk into a trap either. You want to kind of size him up a little bit. You 
want to see if he looks like he's okay, but at the same time, keep in your mind that he might be trying to con you. You know you hurt him if you put that pressure on, but do it smart. He threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. <laughs> Ain't gonna matter. Nice job doubling up the jab by Joe Frazier. That right hand serving well. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Well, he's committed to the left hand and it's paying off here. Best combination in the game, jab with the straight. And that's the end of round seven. You can throw him off with some head. That's it. We got it. Throw him off with head. Well, he's up big through seven rounds according to Teddy's scorecard. The answer for him has been a very simple formula. Just go out there and throw more punches. Yeah, and one other little thing that's not as simple, but it's very subtle, so he's been moving his feet. You know, he's throwing punches, but he adjusts to where he has he's to adjust. He's been in good position. Oh, yeah, all the time. He's never out of position. <laughs> Putting his punches together, landing two shots there. Good left there. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Joe Frazier. And now he's targeting upstairs. Frazier's taken a lot of punishment with the right hand. Teddy, you've said many times, it's where you put your own head get hit by those right hands. The one place I could tell you where not to put it, in the middle. And he needs to move it to the left, outside that right hand. Oh, and a big right oh, hand lane. Solid. Wow, is this good stuff. What good stuff. He just scored the knockdown after being knocked down earlier. Joe, that's incredible. And the knockdown earlier actually set up this knockdown because his opponent, he got a little reckless, a little careless. Frazier swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Nice combination, throwing more than one. Both scored there. I don't know how you, how you. Well placed jab by Joe Frazier. Frazier's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there. Landing. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Can he beat the count? So here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's all over. Joe Frazier's a knockout victim. He couldn't be 